The whole point of what we're doing again is to be connected with the Lord. And the reason the disconnected places are important is because the Lord wants to remove all the blocks and hindrances between us and Him, between our heart and His. And our focus is continually connection. Connecting with the Lord, knowing the Lord. And one of the things that you have probably experienced as I have is that people can say things as much as they want, and I can read things in Scripture as much as I want, but there's something about when God says it to me that it sinks in and changes me in a way that is beyond anything any other person could say, anything I could read, anything I could think up myself. And that happens through his word often. Something will pop off the page, it'll come alive, and it'll be like God speaking afresh. So I'm not discounting this word. This is incredibly important right here. This is how we test and know God's word and recognize him here. But the power of the living word is incredible beyond anything we could try to explain or imagine. The power of the living word to transform us and change us. And above all, I think, in that is the power of the person of who Jesus Christ is. That he is the image of the Father and shows us who our God is. And I love what Paul says to Timothy in 2 Timothy 1. Um, there's a whole section here of 6 through 14 where he talks about stirring up the gift that's within you and being able to suffer well when difficulty comes because of the joy of knowing Christ. But the verse I want to read for you today is 12, verse 12. And Paul says about his suffering, he says, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed. And I am convinced that he is able to guard until that day what has been entrusted to me. And the thing that pops out at me is that he doesn't say, I know what I believe. Because how often don't we say, you got to know what you believe. What do you believe? We live by principles. We live by our understanding. And that's important. It matters tremendously to know what we believe. Some of the most powerful teaching I saw happen at the school I worked at was worldview training. It changed people's lives. It was awesome. But what we believe doesn't matter unless we know who we believe. And when what we believe breaks down, if we trust who we believe, then even when we don't understand or are uncertain about things, we can trust the person that we believe. We can trust Jesus. So I'm going to read this from the message version as well. So I'm going to read the English standard again and the message. And I want to encourage you to just fix your eyes on the one whom we believe as I read this verse again. 2 Timothy 1, 12. I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he is able to guard until that day what has been entrusted to me. And from the message, But I have no regrets. I couldn't be more sure of my ground. The one I've trusted in can take care of what he's trusted me to do right until the end. Amen.